Welcome back to the final approach. So at the end of last episode, we had just brought our two craft with Val and Jeb close to each other. They were nice and close to each other. Um, and we'd completed our first explore Kerbin contract. Now we have another one. And we looked at that, this at the end of last episode. So this is, we now want to actually dock the craft and then transfer the crew, which is quite scary, isn't it? Both of them have uh, jetpacks, I believe, so they should be able to do that. Jetpacks, EVA packs, not jetpacks. Jetpacks would not work on Kerbin, obviously, um, or, or in orbit, because they require air. No, do they? Yeah, they're... anyway, anyway, let's move beyond the, the potentials. So we're going to dock them in orbit. We're going to transfer them over. We also have this new orbital station contract, which looks quite nice. I do not have anything for going to the moon yet though i don't have a moon landing contract which is odd so i feel as though we're missing something as though something should have happened and it hasn't or maybe i need to get the landing node for that to happen so i'm going to do this one as well so we're going to do the exploring curbing and we're also going to do the new orbital station because i feel a little cheaty cheaty getting a double award for one of those um because this exploring Kerbal, Kerbin, the transfer of crew, I'm like, well, mm, I've sort of, I've shortcutted this. We've already got a craft up in orbit and we'd normally do two steps. So what I think we will do is, I think uh, we're going to send a station up. Now this has facilities to support at least five Kerbals. Do I have something that allows me to put five Kerbals on it? I don't know. Well, we'll send that up with the docking port. We'll transfer our crew to it and then we'll have to transfer them back again. Um, so we'll try that, but let's let's do that. Let's try doing this now. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. In fact, mm, yeah. let's do the docking. Let's just get the docking done. Right, to the craft center thing, yeah. And this, I think this is the only the second time I've looked in here. Oh, this is interesting. We can see the, that's some of those. Oh, now, what's going on here? What are you? I've got to be above something there. I'm going to be below something there. Now I could actually just fly south with a, a plane or something and pick that one up, couldn't I? Hmm. Ah, now what's this? Somebody said go north. What's north? What's that? What is that? I don't know. North? Very north? Something up here? I don't know. Right. Uh, we're going Mango 1B because that is Val. Val is going to do our docking now. So we're going to send that up. Right. Hello, Val. How are you? Right. We're going to control you from here first of all and then i want to target that there we go right so val um let's see i want to rcs off because i want to uh, control you manually and i want to put you on the normal as i no, normal the normal the normal would be nice are they actually for, ah right okay so there we go so i want to do that i want to i want to hold you on the normal just there that's it do that right and actually i'm going to jump over to jeb because he is not doing what he's supposed to do he should be on the normal so we're going to do an easy normal docking normal docking yeah that's a, that's a thing right now i've got to figure out which way you actually are pointing so let's have a look uh yeah we'll do that that's easy enough. Go along, cross there to there. Um, are you actually approaching him? Yeah, right. So we're above you, Jeb's. Is she, she looks as a, is she, she's looking. She's looking up. So she's looking. She's looking at Jeb right now. She's looking at his craft. She's thinking, "That's right, Jeb. You may think uh, that you are the best, but uh, in actual fact, the Val, the Val is the one doing the docking. She's the one in the charge of the docking." So you can see here on the on the target there, we can actually see the target coming across. And we just pull it in a bit like so. And then we're gonna just... Come in. There we go. Docty. Now, there is a new function with these, isn't there? Where I can do like a rotate, isn't it? Oh, alignment angle. There we go. Uh, I want to go that way. Docking acquisition force. What's this? It's a directional. I want to rotate. Is it rotating? I don't know if it's rotating. Oh, I can go. It's only. F ah. 
you can only do it by 15. Now that's interesting, just to get the perfect alignment. That's nice actually, because I was thinking you could just spin them around and it makes it sort of pointless having other things. That's good, I like that. So where's that gonna go to? Is it gonna take us round? Like so, can we just, oh, we're just, we're just shy. So this one, can this one do it as well? Oh, yeah. Ah, there we go, isn't that nice? Right, so we're now in the orbit. Now, Jeb, have you been in orbit before? Yes, you have. You went to orbit last time, and that's why you've got the extra star. So we're going to EVA Jeb. Jeb's going to EVA. Then we're going to jump to here. And Val is going to... Let's see. Can we transfer crew like this? Am I able to transfer crew? Hmm, interesting. Transfer crew. There we go. So transfer into Jeb's capsule. There we go. Has that completed the contract? Let us have a look. Explore Kerbin. Our exploration of Kerbin's secrets is successful. Okay, so we've done the snacks and counseling and these crew members will be good as new. I don't know what's happened there. It's like a vessel handshake with minimum shaking and no hands. Okay. Oh, because that's the docking bit. So, okay. You've constructed the first station around Kerbin, have we? You've performed a docking manoeuvre. Have I? Well, I've done that, but um, have I completed that mission? No, because I don't have that. Oh, so I've got some of it for this. Ah, so I still don't have the facilities. So it's not actually completed. I get something, but I've got the, the milestone, but not the actual contract. Okay. All right. Um, now, Jeb. Do I want you to go back home in your capsule or not? I think I want to put Jeb in uh, in this one and leave him in orbit because I think he's going to go to the space station when we build it, if we build it. So we're going to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did we just do? Did I just hit a button? I think I just hit a button. Is everything still attached? Right. Thought I was on Jeb. Right, not to self, you know, remember where you are. So, Jeb, how we doing? Uh, Jeb, why are you going? Why are you going that way? Thank you. What's going on? Why are we flying away? Right, Jeb, we're going to put you into the other capsule if that's all right for you. Is that all right? Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna just just fly you around and just pop you into the other capsule. Uh, which I'm never good. I'm never good with the with the Kerbals flying like this, and it takes a lot of concentration for me to do it. So I apologise for the lack of talking sometimes when I'm doing it. So yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna board. Can I board? Can you board? Is that boardable? Yes. You were able to board then. There we go. So we've now swapped craft. I feel better about that than doing the magical vanish through. So Jeb actually was able to jump out and get back in again. All right, Val. We're gonna decouple. Um, where are we? Control for, no, that's the wrong one. This one. There's always one of them that does it. There we go. Right, Val is now up. Jeb, Jeb is up there with his solar panel, so he can just sit around there for now. He's got he's got ages and ages of stuff to do. Val, we're gonna we're gonna bring you down, and I think I've got enough to do a reasonably accurate landing, and I actually want to land in that circular ocean bit but it's not currently got sunlight on it. So we're gonna just speed forward a bit until it is in the sun. There it is, it's now in the sun. And in actual fact, if I do a burn right here, um, add maneuver, can I get this down nice and close? Hmm. Put it on the far edge there. I think that's gonna be good, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's that's gonna do it for me. Yep. So we're gonna we're gonna burn this. We're gonna take her down now. That's what we're doing. Fire the engines. Fire everything. We're gonna take her down, and I want to try and land in this area because I want to get a look at this as I fly over it. Primarily, um, is what I want. Because I don't know about that middle of there. That just looks different. I always thought it was empty. 
and I know that there's stuff going on in, in 1.12 I do know there is stuff going on in 1.12 and I wonder that's the perfect sort of bullseye for putting something in so we'll see right how close are we going to be let's have a look I'm going to pop it there right okay let's get rid of that what's my that's been a minute right we're going to put ourselves into retrograde what's our electricity like because i know this craft is short on electricity the engine is generating that's okay right val i you know what we haven't tested the parachutes we could lo use lose both of our i've just realized we could lose both of our um yeah, that could be a problem. We could lose both of our pilots on this mission. Um, all right, what are these set to? Not when safe, when risky, thank you. And you, you are set to when risky as well. Brilliant. All right, let's go. Coming in. Are we gonna be below atmosphere? Um, I'm actually gonna overshoot, aren't I? I'm actually gonna be too far to one side. So I actually want to uh, just pop this there and do a little burny burny before I come in. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's communications. Okay. There we go, a little burn. Then we go back into retrograde. Right. So let's go. Let's go, go fly a kite up to the highest heights. That's Mary Poppins, isn't it? Is that Mary Poppins? It's Mary Poppins. I've just I've just Mary Poppins in the middle of a YouTube video. Wonderful, right? Um, I may have to do some braking uh, quite rapidly, in fact, because we are um, we're not doing brilliantly here. Where am I going to come down? That's the question. How quickly is this going to lose altitude? Let's do a bit of braking. There we go. Is there anything down the nothing there's nothing down there i was convinced that that island was new and there was going to be something on it oh well oh well doesn't matter does not matter hmm be a cool place to put a base on though wouldn't it wouldn't that be cool i think i'd like to fly over that looks really cool all right how are we doing people yeah, it looks like a peanut. All right, I'm gonna land in the water over here. That's gonna be cool. Bring it down. We can speed up a bit here. Parachutes should open at some point. There we go. One, why? oh, because that's a drogue chute, okay. All right, main chutes are out, all the way down. So we know hopefully this is gonna work and Val's gonna survive, wonderful. All the way down into this. It's a lovely little site, actually. This, I think, would have been a better site for the, the KSC. I think it's just really cool if you'd have launched from an island like this. Although, I suppose it would have stopped rovers going places. So, yeah, you'd have had to have a land bridge of some sort. Anyway, coming down into the slightly warm-looking water. And uh, we're going to crash down and see what's happening. And this is going to be about what, 14 minutes on this episode? So I'm, I'm sort of going to decide as to whether, how long these episodes should be. Should they be, you know, 15 minutes long? Should they be 30 minutes long? So if you've got any comments on that, please tell me. I know I've asked before, it'd be really good to just keep getting your feedback on this, if you're liking the series or not. Um, if you want to see sort of it moving quicker, if you want to see it going slower, if you'd like it to be more sort of tutorially or what, I might actually do a tutor, like a proper 100% tutorial type series in the future. I haven't decided yet. Um, but the valve's coming down and it's, it's quite nice. Interestingly, so 
most of the the NASA missions, the US missions in capsules, landed down in water. Obviously, it's uh, nice and soft. And they'd have flotation devices in the bottom. Of course, the Russians wanted their craft to land on on Russian soil, so they actually often had little retros on the bottom of them, which would fire. And of course, as we said in previous episodes, um, Gagarin he uh, he parachuted out. So yeah, we could do that, but it's a little low actually, I think, for that. So we'll uh, we'll maybe avoid that with Val this time. So Val survives. Yes, survives another mission. So. Let's recover that vessel and let us see what we can see. Now we've got some of those other missions out of the way. It would be nice if we've actually got enough science to get the landing node, because I think that will trigger moon landing as a, as a mission. And we don't. I don't think we have enough yet for it. Oh, oh no, here we go. Orbit the moon. Now that will give us some more science. So we've now got the... Let's take that because we love it. And is there anything else? Gather surface deployed mystery goo science from the surface of the moon. Science from space around the moon. Get that, because we'll have that. Moonstone. How do I get moonstone? Find a moonstone. Have a Kerbal pick it up and return it to Kerbin. We suspect you can find one of these in the polar lowlands, polar craters, or canyons biomes. I cannot scan the biomes at the moment, so I don't actually know where they are, but I'm guessing, you know, <sighs> polar would be would be pretty obvious i'm guessing so yeah polar craters polar lowlands i don't want to risk it at the moment how long have i got I've got 10 years to do it which is a long time in kerbal so pretty much for as long as i want i can do it and it's the moon so we can just keep going back but i do feel a bit cheeky just taking it um so let's have a look what have we got what have we what have we done what have we learned how much do i need for landing i need 90 for landing which would give me legs. Do I have anything? I don't have legs of any sort yet, do I? I've got rover wheels. I could just put a rover down, um, which would be funny. Although we don't have communications either. So yeah, I think we're going to end this episode here. And I think next episode, we're probably going to have a look around at, can we, uh, let's actually have a quick peek here. We've got this, which is one crew member. I could just build a really long space station. We could just do that and send that up. And then we could get Jeb to dock with it. And then we could bring him home. And that would be a nice little mission for next time. So from me, until next time, have a great one.